Look, I'm um, coming from a country which is a uh, direct neighbor to Ukraine. And I'm representing a nation, members of which uh, have been dying in this war, given the fact that there's a uh, big Hungarian community living in the western part of Ukraine, members of which are Ukrainian citizens, so they are conscripted to the Ukrainian army. Many of them are being sent on the front lines and many of them have already died. So I'm representing a uh, country uh, which has been hit by the impacts of the war very seriously and uh, mostly immediately. So uh, we are arguing in favor of uh, stopping this war, stopping killing the people um, as soon as possible, but rather immediately. And how you can save lives in a war is that you stop the war. So this war must be stopped. Uh, immediate ceasefire should be established. Peace talks should be started and a sustainable peace agreement uh, should be reached. Outbreak of a war is always a failure of diplomacy and uh, peace is always a success of diplomacy. So I think it would be high time for diplomacy uh, to take over the role of the weapons. How it should be done that all the stakeholders should sit around the same table and uh, carry out um, peace uh, negotiations at as an outcome of which a uh, sustainable uh, peace agreement uh, should be reached. We are helping Ukraine with any possible humanitarian uh, way. Uh, but, you know, we see those torn apart families who are arriving to Hungary. We have received already more than 1.1 million refugees from Ukraine. It's heartbreaking to see them. You know, fathers are being left behind because of the conscription rules. Mothers or grandparents are coming with the children and grandchildren. So this war should come to an end now. This war should come to an end now. And we don't care who makes the peace plan. Uh, we don't care on what terms uh, they stop, but they should stop now. Stopping the war and sitting around the table does not mean that you uh, accept the status quo. We do remember that uh, when the war stops and the peace talks start, uh, it's not necessary <laughs> that, the, that the borders would be uh, where the front lines are. We know it from our own history uh, as well. So we do not accept those arguments which uh, say that now this uh, military situation should be changed and if it's changed then ceasefire can come. No, ceasefire has to come now.